I've had a chance to do some, some sit-down interviews with Scott before I bring our host up. You know, Scott's concept is to try and you know, get out there and reach out to people. And one of the interviews, you know, I asked him about you know, all the social media and Twitter and message boards. And, you know, Scott's in the belief that those things are important, but these kind of events really is what drives athletics. You know, there's nothing like getting out and shaking people's hands and talking to people face to face. You know, for me, 11 months ago, you know, I, I, I jumped in a van with my, with my three kids, my wife, two cats and a dog, we drove, <laughs> we drove 3,126 miles across, across this great country. Saw a lot of great things. But what I find every day, and more and more, especially on a day like today, it's so beautiful, is that this is the greatest part of the country and the greatest city in the world. I can tell you, you know, from listening to Rex Walter, I'm gonna steal a line from him. It's one of very few cities in the world that you have to pay to get in. And the great thing about you know, being in San Francisco and being at the University of San Francisco is that right there, that name. You know, and that's our that's our greatest asset. We have so much history and so many great things that are happening at the institution. We combine those things with with the vision that we have for our athletic department. We're going to do great things. One quick thing I want to share with you guys about one of our players, um, Mel Cloak. I don't know if any of you saw the article that was in the Chronicle about her, but. Um, her, both of her parents are uh, Cambodian, barely speak any English, were both in concentration camps, moved to the United States, um, had I don't know how many kids, and you know, Mel grew up with like 18 people in a probably a two bedroom home, and just a really, really tough environment. But I could see something, some, some light or you know, something, something special in her. But it's because of the support that we're able to help kids like that that would never in a million years have a chance to go to college. And she's going to represent San Francisco, USF, all of us um, very, very well as she goes into the world. And one of the reasons that I love USF as opposed to a lot of schools that are out there is that it really is about the whole person. It, it truly is. I mean, from, you know, spiritually, mentally, physically, you know, everything, it's the complete package. So basically, uh, USF called me about hosting this event in South Bay, and uh, I thought I'd take advantage of it and, and basically talk about my dad, talk about what USF did for me, and, uh, and talk about how it, it helped me in my life and how it formed my life. I'm lucky enough to understand the vision of Scott, to understand his willingness to get down and dirty and grind away like a coach would, but also have that understanding of what it's going to take big picture to be a CEO of this department, so I have a sense that and I feel that. I just want to thank everybody, and I tell you, we're very excited about USF and our association with USF. You know, we've been in the city for 51 years, and I think USF's probably been there a couple more years further than us. And I tell you, I think our association, Charlie can correct me, has probably been about a, close to a decade. You know, don't hold me to numbers, I'm in the car business, but we'll call it, we'll call it a decade. And I'll tell you what, the, the, the vibe and excitement with uh, Scott here, it's just it's really amazing. You know, I, I'm, I'm actually from the Midwest. I go into a middle school called the University of Michigan, where they have a lot, of, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of school pride and there's a lot of energy. And I'll tell you, I feel, I feel that that same uh, train coming in, coming in here at USF. And I can just, there's no reason that USF can't be, you know, giant. I thought USF was all always a bit of a sleeping giant. And I'm more convinced, you know, than ever than it is. Not only do I think we can do a great job here at USF and compete for WCC championships and go to the NCAA tournament, but it's all about energy, it's about direction, um, it's, it's about putting together a plan, implementing a plan, and I think, you know, when I look at all the coaches tonight, and I've been around for about four and a half months, uh, there's more energy, more, more excitement, um, and you know what, it's, it's, it's exciting to be around.